I wanted to ask you first, what is guidance? Well, guidance is receiving instruction from spirit or higher self in a way that helps one learn to forgive, learn to truly experience the depth of forgiveness as Jesus Christ taught forgiveness. So it's like having the way shower in your mind and available in a very, very practical way that can be heard or experienced through symbols in a way that leads to an experience of peace of mind. It comes in many forms, so it's not always an audible voice, it can be symbols, bumper stickers, song on the car radio, just something that someone says, symbols all around in many angles, many directions, but but the point is well taken that they they're all there to to communicate information that can be very practical in the spiritual awakening. What's the highest understanding of guidance? Well the highest understanding would be accepting the call to stillness because a still and tranquil mind is no small gift, it's really the, the end, it's the point of everything to come into this stillness and acceptance. So the highest form of guidance would be very synonymous with the highest form of meditation, try not to think of anything at all. And that takes a lot of training because the mind, when it's split, it's full of chatter, it's full of distraction, it's full of busyness. So the point of guidance is really to clear out that static, clear away all the debris and experience the stillness. So that's where it's all heading, is be still and know that I'm God. So in the willingness to, to follow the seeming guidance that comes through form, it's leading to this true stillness, which is the guidance. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same goal that meditation is, is to quiet the mind and still the mind. So you might say guidance is a use of, of words and feelings and symbols to point in the same direction. And in that sense it's very practical. Do you have any sense of, you spoke of it being like a voice, it's like a companion is what I'm getting from how you describe it. Yeah, that's the way I've experienced it. It's been like a, a companion, a friend, an internal guide that's very, very close and very, very intimate and very accessible as well. That's one of the reasons why A Course in Miracles has a pathway that includes guidance because it's so helpful in accelerating the the awakening, accelerating the mind training. And meditation plays a big part, but the guidance is like a trademark of this pathway. I have so much gratitude for guidance because it's been such a time saver, saving thousands of years and making clear the pathway for me so I could put my heart into it and really focus on a pathway of listen and follow 
And of course the listening relates to the guidance, internal guidance. <laughs> 